am taking a look at the new Rode Wireless Go 2. So I had the original Wireless Go and actually I still have it because I still really like it. I decided to get the new model because dual, dual receiver with two transmitters and mic input and a ton of upgraded features. What really excited me about having two transmitters was that I could essentially have a lav mic and a shotgun mic running at the same time wirelessly. So I actually have a wireless shotgun mic rig as well as the lav mic, which I am really impressed with. And it's really windy out here. I don't know if you guys can hear that through the windscreen. What's nice is they redesigned their windscreen. And it's, <laughs> if, you, if any of you have used the old one, you know that it was pretty much a joke. And this new one is brilliant. It's kind of like a camera body cap. It clips in and locks in tight, so it stays on no matter how much wind. So yeah, I'm really excited to give this thing a try this week. I'm out here in the National Forest doing some cool stuff, getting some, some shots of the Trailhawk, the roof nest, just having fun. There's nobody out here. I'm eight miles down the Desert Creek Road and it's just, it's pretty awesome. So let's talk about the new features of the second model of the Rode Wireless Go. Extended range. It now has a range of 200 meters, so over 600 feet, which is double the original. Uh, I can't imagine an instance where I'm actually gonna be using something 600 feet away. That's pretty, that's pretty far. So now I'm, now I'm testing line of sight audio. Ugh, bugs. I don't know how far the camera is, I would guess. 400 feet, there's wind. Um, you know, I'm, I would assume that that's in the area, there's trees. I discovered that you do need to have line of sight for this road mic. Uh, as I was walking away, the audio was cutting in and out, so I, you definitely need to be line of sight. Um, for this thing to really work best. Uh, of course, we have dual channel receiver and two transmitters, uh, and they're the exact same size as the original Rode Wireless Go, which is really nice. So they have the hot shoe clip mount, which is really nice. Of course, you can throw it on any camera with a, a hot or cold shoe. As well, it's designed for performance in high radio frequency areas uh, where there might be a lot of RF interference. So I don't personally use it in RF heavy environments, as you can tell, but it is designed for that. Another nice feature is that you can record both channels separately as left and right into your camera, or you can combine them to one stereo send. So you're stuck with, you're kind of stuck with just one mix, but you know, most people don't really want to mix audio. They just want it to be ready for them. So that's a really nice feature. If you want to split your channels, you totally can. Another awesome feature that they've added is internal recording and supposedly up to 40 hours in unit recording time, which is pretty awesome. The downside is that you need to have the Rode Central app. Now I went on the app store and I did not find the Rode Central app uh, that is mentioned in the user manual. There is, however, the Rode reporter or Rode journalist app, and I think that's the same thing. I have not yet tried it, but Rode, you need to update your app or make the app or something or release the app because it's not there. The Rode Central app is not on the App Store. But with that app, you can internally record onto your receiver. So that is a really cool function. Of course, it still has the eighth inch output into your camera, which is a standard feature, I would say. Um, but it also has support now for iOS. So you can actually connect via USB-C into your lightning, into the lightning adapter of your iPhone or Android phone and record straight to your phone. So that is also a nice feature if you are a vlogger using your iPhone. And I have to say, I've been using my iPhone 12 a lot lately and that's starting to sound really good as a nice mobile rig. And of course you still have the standard features of the three stage pad. And I think that's expandable to a 10 stage pad, which would be really nice to have more volume control from the unit itself instead of having to mess with the receiver and then the audio in your camera. 
So that would be a very nice feature. You could just leave your camera settings alone and mess with the receiver. But overall, I'm really stoked about this setup. Like I said, I'm running a lapel and a shotgun so that I can record the ambient sound wirelessly wherever I'm at and it's really cool setup. But then of course, this is perfect for on the go documentary filmmakers who, who need a two channel wireless system that's very cost effective at $300. This thing is an amazing setup. I would highly recommend the Rode Wireless Go 2. I can't think of a reason you wouldn't want it because it's still got a, uh, an eighth inch input for all your mics. Yeah, super cool. Thank you all for watching. Links to all the products I use are below in the description, including links to this new Rode Wireless Go 2. I really like it as well as shotgun. All the gear that I use is linked below. Please check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh,